Hi crafters, welcome back to my channel, Choose Joy with Carmen. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you the card that I created for Craft Roulette episode number 211. So the project had to have good tidings on it. Colors, summer, element, mechanics or mechanical, and random tie closed. So, I'm just going to put this aside for a moment because I want to bring it back when we get to the um, element of mechanical. So, I decided to focus on, the first thing was on the colors of summer. And so, I've been working with this paper pack here for some cards that I've been doing. Um, and so it was out and about and I thought, well, what better paper could I use, right? Because zinnias are in the summer. They bloom in the summer. So these are definitely summer colors. And this is called flowering zinnias. So I pulled in the stamp set that went with it, but only because I'm gonna use these dies right here. I didn't use any of the stamps here, but for my um, good tidings, well, I think when you wish someone a happy birthday and you send them a card, you are sending them good tidings. So I pulled in this stamp set, the watercolor trio, because I wanted the birthday wishes, because I just love the way the font is in this set. So that's the set that I'm using. And then I'm pulling in my tag topper punch and a one and three eighths, three eighths inch circle punch. And let's see, what else do I need to say? I think that's it for now. So let's go ahead and pull in the card and then we'll talk about each of the parameters. So here's the card and so we've got the Project Good Tidings. So here's my Good Tidings sentiment down here in the corner. Birthday wishes. And then the color summer. We've already talked about that. So I've got that covered. Then the element. Now here's the funny part. The mechanical or mechanics. So... I'm gonna first go with the one that I, uh, when I did a definition of mechanical, this is what I came up with. So let me pull this in. So I decided to go with um, the one that, the noun of US printing under um, the definition for mechanical, which reads, a completed assembly of artwork and copy typically mounted on a sheet of stiff paper. Well, okay, that's going to cover all of our cards all the time because we are assembling artwork and copy and it's mounted on a sheet of stiff paper because it's on cardstock. Okay, so that's my goal for that, um, as far as the mechanical or mechanics part of it. Um, but if that doesn't work for some of you, if the, I thought, well, you know what? This, the other thing is there's, the punches are mechanical. So I figured that could be my backup mechanical part because these punches definitely are mechanical. And I used two punches on my card. And if you want to get technical, well, I did some die cutting. Of course, I had to use my, um, you know, my die cut machine. 
it's not electric, but it has a lot of probably mechanical stuff in there that can break. So there we go. I think I've got that covered. Now, the tie closed for the random. Well, I decided that I was going to do this card where you use the tag topper. And I'm not going to show how to make that in this video. Because that would be... Um, that would take a little more time and I don't want to make this video very long. But what you do is then when you tie this ribbon, this is gonna this is the tie close, right? You use the ribbon and you've tied it closed. But you have to untie it in order to open it up to see what's on the inside and to see whatever it is you're gonna write over here. So there's my tie close. Now I wanted to get this flower really detailed. So I did a lot of different things. I punched out on both of these dies. I punched one of each of the colors, which is the Melon Mambo, Flirty Flamingo, and uh, Berry Burst. And I didn't use these three over here. But I did, I did die cut one of each, so I did this one in all three colors and this one in all three colors. Then on this piece right here, um, I did that in the in a lemon, the lemon lolly. I don't know if you can see it there, but it's right there, and it's kind of a circular thing. And then I took this one, and I die cut directly from. Uh, some designer paper from that paper pack so that I could have those little and I those little um, you know I could put them on there and then I also took the center piece and I die cut it from this paper as well but when I did the lemon lolly I just still wanted it to have a little bit more of those little images so that's why I did this one as well and then just put them randomly there and the reason why I did that was because I really like the way the paper looks because to me the paper has that look in the center of the flowers and so that's what I was going for and then I didn't want them to be just straight up this color so I did bring in some of the inks that match and and did some uh, blending and I also on the top one here I added some marker uh, work and dots and stuff just to give it a little bit of more character so I really like that and then when I glued them together I kind of curled them and I offset them so that you could see all three colors and just love that so much and then I stamped the sentiment the good tidings sentiment in um, the melon mambo which is the same color as my card base and then I added some more of those little star looking things that are also in the center of the flower there and then you open it up so this was a real fun card to do, and, um, you know, I at some point maybe I'll do another card and make a video that shows exactly how I made it, um, but I don't know when I'll exactly do that, but I need, to, I need to do that, and I'll probably do a different card. So there we go. I think I covered it all for this week. Okay, well, thank you all for stopping by to see what I created. And if you enjoyed this video and the card that I created, then you can show me your joy by giving this video a thumbs up. All right, well, until my next video, remember, choose joy, and may God bless you all. Bye-bye.